I think I finally found a winning combo of ChatGPT plus data for SEO plus Genspark. That is by far and hands down better than any paid keyword research tool out there. And in the today's video, not only will I show you four distinct keyword research methods that you can use with this combination, ChatGPT plus Genspark, I will also show you how to set up your ChatGPT and data for SEO integration so you can start using it today. Hey guys, and welcome to the Scale. I'll do this video backwards in a sense that I will show you the use cases first and then I'll show you how to set it up. Hopefully this will improve the retention <laughs> and make the video overall more enjoyable for you guys. So the first use case is extremely simple. I'm using my own custom GPT which is already connected to data for SEO. So do not worry, I will show you how to set up everything later. So the first use case has to do with niching down. So say I've picked a niche and in my school community I have 21 different methods of how to find profitable niches. Let's take group manifestation. So I'll do what is the search volume for group Manifestation is going to be our niche, which is a real niche in a very large manifestation space. Okay, as you can see, I need to confirm my connection to data for SEO. And I actually know this niche to be real because there are a lot of Reddit discussions around it. And the benefit of data for SEO is obviously that we are getting accurate volume. Post 20 clusters, each equals one pillar plus four supporting topics to become a topical authority in the group manifestation niche. Okay, and now ChatGPT is giving me just that, 20 topical clusters, pillar 1, what is group manifestation, supporting topics would be how group manifestation works, the difference between individual and collective manifestation, common myths about group manifestation, the science of energy, famous case studies, pillar number 2 would be how to start a group manifestation circle, the spiritual principles behind group manifestation, so on and so forth. It's asking me if I want to map search volume and keyword difficulty, to which I will respond yes. And as you can see, every time I mention either keyword difficulty or search volume, it wants to connect to data for SEO, which it should. Okay, so it found some good keywords for us to try. Even prioritize the clusters, the topical clusters that ChatGPT gave us in the beginning. So judging by this, we can start with manifestation groups explained, then go to how to start manifestation circle, collective manifestation science, manifestation for relationships and friendships. And these are all scored as pretty much golden opportunities. And you can obviously continue talking with data for SEO. You can branch into different sub niches. You can reiterate, but this is basically use case number one, creating topical maps. Use case number two has to be one of my favorite ones. This is using Genspark and its browser version. And we're using the deep research module. So scan Reddit and give me a list of questions people have about group manifestation, format them into shorter searchable queries. And you can see how Genspark is working in the back end. Lots of Reddit threads here. Another search that it ran. Beautiful. And these are the keywords. Group manifestation questions, basic understanding, process and technique. And we can copy them over. We can go back to ChatGPT and ask do any of the below have search volume. And let's paste this in. Okay, let's confirm once again because we have to. Okay, this is what we got. And inside of this list of questions, which came directly from Reddit, it actually found some valid keywords, uh, zero volume ones, but uh, collective manifestation, how group manifestation works, group manifestation real, multiple people manifest the same thing, start manifestation group, group manifestation techniques. Align group intentions manifestation. These are all valid keywords that you can target. Let's keep on going. This is going to be use case number three, which I call proxy keywords inside of the manifestation niche. Let's take it a little bit broader. Find me 20 lowest competition keywords. And I'm using 20 here, but you should really go for 50, 100, 200. Okay, here are 20 manifestation specific keywords with low competition from current trend data and related keyword analysis. Okay, now what you can do is take this list and propose another 20 keywords that have the same semantic value and are just as low of a competition. And I feel weird talking with the keyword research tool. So this is the first time. 
Uh, let's see what happens. And the idea here is if you have a huge list of keywords, you are able to filter them down to say 20 lowest competition ones. You can then feed that list back to data for SEO inside of ChatGPT to find proxy keywords. So the keywords that have the same semantic value, therefore the same competition value most likely. Here are 20 low competition keywords closely aligned with the manifestation, spirituality, mindset, niche, drawn from the same semantic field as your base set. Deep programming meditation, how to send love energy, self-image examples, most dangerous meditation, inspiration, quotes about life, love, and God, and so on and so forth. And this is amazing. Finally, and this is like completely ninja, one of my favorite keyword research methods. For this, let me go to a big YouTuber in the niche, uh, that would be Matt Wolf. The reason being is that he gets a lot of comments under his videos. So let me find something pretty recent, but with a lot of comments. Let me check this one first. This has 180 comments. Let's see if we can find something better. Uh, maybe judging by the... yeah, this could be good. Insane ways to use Nano Banana for free two months ago. And we have 589 comments. So let me grab this link. We go back to Genspark. We're still using the browser. You can choose the super agent for this. And this is a two-parter. So first read the comments under this video and extract the most asked questions. Let's see what happens. By the way, this is just four keyword methods and I have plenty more inside of my rapid ranking system. And just recently, if we go to results, the first one, number one, in 24 hours using Vlad's Genspark agent. And number two, in 24 hours using Vlad Ultimate SEO agent. And they're talking about the SEO writer I've created for Genspark, which is available inside of my school community. As you can see, Genspark is hard at work. It's actually reading the comments and summarizing them. So this is not a fluke. It is actually scanning everything. And it's using the Playwright browser automation to do that. And Playwright browser is only available in the browser version of Genspark. That's why I use the browser version much more often than the web app version. Okay, I think Genspark has had enough. Okay, analyze what you've collected so far. Because it wanted to keep on going. It would have taken a while. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's just copy everything. Below are the formatted questions under a popular video about banana, nano, banana. Can you validate them as being real keywords with volume? Just paste this in. Let's see what happens. So we got some. So how do I access nano banana? Where can I use nano banana for free? Difference between Gemini and AI Studio. Nano banana image generation limit. And this is a beauty of this method. You can use it as is. So I would, if I were in the Nano Banana niche, I would actually create content around each of these keywords. But just a handful of them have registered with keyword research tools. So this is just another validation layer. If you want to be very strict, you can just write one, two, three, four, these four articles. If you want to create more of a topical authority, I would actually go for everyone. I would deduplicate it, obviously, but still, this is an amazing keyword research technique where you use Genspark and ChatGPT and data for SEO. So to sum up, keyword research method number one was creating topical authority. So we've gotten a lot out of ChatGPT and data for SEO. And it even gave us some priorities as far as which pillar topics to go after here. Then went on Reddit, used Genspark for that, and we were able to validate some of these keywords. But again, it's the same with YouTube. I would actually go for all of them if I were in the group manifestation niche. Then we use proxy keywords. So we fed ChatGPT and data for sale a set of low competition keywords and asked for another batch. And it used semantic relevancy and value to do that. And this was the list, all with volume. And finally, using Genspark, we extracted keywords from a comment section and were able to validate some of them. But again, if we are building topical authority, many of these keywords do not exist. So they are precursors for future volume. And now, as promised, I'll show you how to create such a connection, how to connect data for SEO to ChatGPT. And this is going to be a very simple step-by-step -step process. So step number one, you need to go to data for SEO, go to API access, and um, chances are you have 
five bucks to play around with. If you want to top it up, you'll have to spend 50. It's gonna last you a while. Let's just look at the usage. And for this video alone, for all the exercises, for all of the use cases, we spent sub 40 cents. I repeat, less than 40 cents for everything. So this is gonna last you a while. As I said, you go to the API access and you need a specific type of password, which you send to yourself via the email. And this is gonna look like a long string of uh, characters copy that somewhere safe and obviously i'll be blurred out and the format is called base64 so you copy this then you go to chatgpt you create a new gpt that you call something seo assistant for example then you scroll all the way down to create new action then what you need to do is go to this URL here, which is github.com forward slash data for SEO forward slash opening actions. And you need to scroll down to this file here, which is called data for SEO researcher toolkit JSON. You click here to copy, copy raw file. You go back, you do nothing here. You just paste it in. And for the authentication, you copy your long base 64 password. Then you click on this gear icon. You choose API key as authentication type. You paste in your API key and you leave everything as is, meaning base as authentication type. Then you click on save. And let's test it out by asking something very simple. Search volume of bugs. Because you guys know I like docs that eat longer. Now it's gonna want me to confirm the connection, which I will. And just like that, we got information from data for SEO. The keyword bugs has an average monthly search volume of 368,000. Combination low, average CPC 0.63. This is the trend. This confirms to me that everything is working. So again, step by step, you open up your custom GPT. You go to data for SEO researcher toolkit JSON. You copy the content of this file. You paste it in under schema. Then you grab your base64 password. You click on the gear icon. You paste it here, leaving the auth type as basic. And you connect everything. Go check out my school community. I'm running a co-promo with my storage gap method. If you buy in the storage gap method, you get a discount on school and vice versa. If you join school, you get a discount on the storage gap method. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon. Cheers.